love the diversity of everybody's writing and their reading. And I don't know, but it, like it's one thing to be able to pick up books and read what people write, but there is just nothing that replaces the person in front of you that wrote that, that shares that. So I just, just think this is an amazing night, acknowledging all you awesome writers. So t now we're gonna bring up Lai Wan. Oh yeah, I was looking this way. But I was sitting here, it's way back there. Lai Wan, come up here. <laughs> I told Lai Wan when she got here, you should just sit back here. <laughs> and then I forgot. And so Lai Wan is amazing. We've, uh, another person I've known forever. I <laughs> feel like I know so many people here, how gifted. Um, she's an artist with a wide ranging practice that, hmm? what? She doesn't want me to read it. Okay, she's really smart. She writes amazing. She's really cool. She's gonna tell you a little bit about herself. She has to, I have to say something. Cause she's not letting me talk about her, but. Let her check in with her fabulous sound crew here, and I promise it'll be awesome, because Laiwan is awesome. <laughs> We're happy. Thank you very much. Um, I'm feeling very humble to be here, um, especially because of the great sense of spirit and generosity that is in this room. So thank you very much. And for Michelle for challenging me to be here. I'm usually quite a shy person, so she demanded that I <laughs> do something. Um, So because I'm feeling a bit speechless, I'm going to go right into this poem. Um, I started it uh, just after Valentine's Day, so it's a positive um, poem. I was thinking about the space of love. And um, the poem is called The Five Elements of Becoming Human. Um, inspired by Chinese medicine, I was thinking, um, Larissa had mentioned the, the five Taoist uh, uh, elements, and I'm using the same elements, but it's in relation to Chinese medicine. And I was thinking about how we access Chinese medicine um, to heal ourselves, I mean, the five elements, and that we look to the land to heal ourselves. But I was thinking, how do we each embody the five elements, each of the elements, so as to heal the land? So uh, this poem is in, in that regard. We are animals, from Latin, animalis, having breath. All animals know how to love, to nestle with you, seeking close affection, loving unconditionally, where each breath is one of love, sensing how true your love is, and if it is true, you simply be animal too, the one who breathes love. Here we are those called human, yet do we know how to love? Every day the world's heart breaks a little more. What can we do to stop this process? To become present to the five elements of becoming human, absorbing these in, in, into every cell, towards mending every breaking heart. One, wood. What would you become, standing tall, palm, tree-like, richly abundant as mango groves, mysterious as the whisperings of pines, all breathing in dark, all breathing out bright, as sturdy branches broadly stretch up, floating leaves as hundreds of kites, tirelessly making food from light, have you ever fallen to your knees upon meeting the splendor of a magnificent tree? Perhaps you have found yourself in a magical forest, overwhelmed by the sound, the soft sound trees make, 
of abundant life going about their day. Perhaps you have found yourself alone with a majestic baobab in a vast, lonely, dry plain, with her steady pace still holding true. And no matter what may befall us, she is there, guiding us for thousands of years. And she is here within each of us, our inner gentle tree. Perhaps you have only recently encountered the splendor of your inner tree. And upon meeting her, your heart learns to branch out openly. Two, fire. Let us ignite your flame, alive, burning bright, dancing light, cell among cells, arousing, quickly warming bodies, combusting without bias, each flame heating the fire, destructively clearing a space to becoming human. Decisive, we step up, inflamed toward revolution, the fire warrior awakens, brash and bright, as brave embers smolder our soul. Mesmerizing and feverish and fu furious dance, alchemical skin a shedding, gasping thanks to emerge alive, to deeply listening, of flames crackling and popping around your intuition. Perhaps you have only recently woken to your inner flame, as she gently builds within you, then bursting into wildfire, she melts the tight grasp of your shielded heart. Three, earth. Do you fall to the soil of your soul so as to rise up through the roots of your splendid tree, feeding little sprouts as you break through earth so as to bloom into brilliance? around the curves of your rolling hills and mossy mounds, into the gentle valleys of your spatial, spacious plains, among your chubby bushes and mysterious caves, we, falling into soil, discover an abandon of joy. It is in the sweat of your soil, changing decay and rot into blossoming flower, hundreds of lives burrowing, only recently you have felt the quake in the sweat of your soil, of the blood that tremors through you to return into earth when you are old, buried back into what was once home, and becomes home once again, loved by her ancient soul. Dear Mother Earth, we return to her what once we were. Four, metal. What is our metal? The spirited resilience. Lived experience with bodies at edge. Unafraid to go beyond what we know. We learn to sense when we are thinking. So thinking shimmers throughout us bodily. For we are animal. So too do we sense ideas like instinct. Smelling out a possibility. Leaping on a phrase fighting into poetry to feed your soul and raw voice back into life. Perhaps it is only recently you have met your resilient spirit of this metal, sharp and acutely aware of language and thought. As birds who precise and wise fly migrating through, my, through vastness that is everywhere. Dear preciousness, Thankful for having breath, so bodily, daringly, with a tongue that is free-falling wit, piercing the apathy of heartlessness. Five, water. Bodily forfeits water, we shift like a moon, with swelling oceans, river rapids, spirited brooks, playful puddles, each day we are these. Listen to feeling, the way a whale sinks through her sonorous body, 
tender sounds among broad booms echoing through flesh and bone and never-ending ocean to squids and barnacles, stingrays and seaweed. So too must your whales sing out, sensing feeling across a vast expanse of unknown. So how do you keep your water livable with fresh emotion, with sparkling lucidity? Intent to stay clear and fresh, drinkable and drunk with your four fifths. You train to be fit, to dive into your wild ocean, to learn of a whirling presence that never tires. Perhaps it is only recently you came upon the state of your water, when tears fell as you saw the world's heart breaking. And you attempted to mend this by facing your own. Thank you. I was trying to run away. <laughs> Thank you very much.